Happy February, everyone. Brenna Bauckham, Collective Wealth Planning. I'm curious how many of you are still holding strong with your New Year's resolutions. I set a couple of mine, but uh, like many of us, the goals that I set that came from an external place of motivation have fallen away. And that's got me thinking about the differences between extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. And there's a study that Daniel Pink talks about in his book, Drive, and this study was done out of the University of Rochester. And the research team interviewed graduating students about their life goals and career and otherwise. Some of those goals were extrinsic. The students wanted to become wealthy or to become famous. And some of them were more intrinsic or purpose-centered goals around helping other people and learning and growing. The research team then followed up with those same graduates down the line several years later when they were deep into their careers and and their lives and checked in on where they were at on their progress toward the goals that they had set for themselves. And for those individuals with intrinsic aspirations who reported that they had set the goal, that they had uh, achieved the goal that they had set for themselves, they were measuring higher levels of happiness and life satisfaction and well-being from when they were graduating. On the other hand, those with extrinsic aspirations who reported that they had met the goal they set for themselves, their levels of happiness were the same from when they graduated, which is sad for me to think about if I was just as happy as I was when I graduated college now, that would be not a super life or a super trajectory for me. But not only that, their levels of anxiety and depression had gone up. And they also shared that several of these individuals with these extrinsic aspirations didn't recognize the correlation between the goals that they had set and the ways that those goals were affecting their lives. So instead of reevaluating their goals, they just raised the bar higher. So they were striving for higher paying jobs or more illustrious titles. So in Daniel Pink's book, he concludes that satisfaction in life depends not only on having goals, but on having the right goals. So I'm asking you, watcher of this video, are your goals the right goals? In my work with client families, we focus on this a lot, on collaborating, on ways to live more fulfilling and meaningful lives, to bring about higher levels of satisfaction and well-being, and I am encouraging them to shut out the extrinsic influences and definitions of wealth and instead walk through the process of discovering their unique intrinsic motivations and then align their money with those motivations. That's very, very meaningful work. And if any of this is resonating with you, I invite you to download our checklist down below. There's a link of issues to consider at the start of the new year. So some of those are gonna encourage you to focus on the intrinsic motivations behind your relationship with money, and others are a bit more technical. So either way, I hope there's something in there for you. Other resources for you to check out this month, you can look at our blog on charitable gifting. So I I went deep, I did a deep dive on covering strategies from the simple to the complex to make your donations meaningful, both to the receiving organization and to your tax return. And I'll link to a video up here, um, a little summary I did on, on the trifecta of charitable gifting. You can also listen to our market commentary from the last quarter, which highlights the great highs and lows of 2023 and what may be on the horizon for this year, 2024. And finally, you can read our contribution to a recent AARP article on tax breaks for those of you who are turning 50. And I learned when I was putting this newsletter together that those of you who are 50 are called quinquagenarians. It's a word I never heard before, and now maybe you know it too. (laughs) As always, I welcome your thoughts and your questions and your feedback. If anything that I talked about today piques your interest, don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to hear what's on your mind. Have a great month, everybody.